Hello viewer, in this video I will learn you something about perspectives. First, I will talk about the categorization of perspectives, and then we will see the methods to generate perspectives in BricsCAD. Let's start with the categorization. Perspectives are categorized based on the number of vanishing points. When you draw lines along the edges of an image, you can see that some lines meet at an imaginary point. This point is called the vanishing point. Depending on the number of vanishing points, perspectives are classified as single point perspective or linear perspective, two point perspective or angular perspective, and three point perspective or oblique perspective. Before we see in detail how you can generate each of these categories, I will introduce the simplest method to generate perspective in BricsCAD. I will illustrate this with a simple 3D model of a kitchen. We should start from an outside elevation. To do this, you can either give in the comment V point, enter and type 0, 0, 0, or else simply click on the front view. In the properties palette at the right, you can see the perspective property. If the property palette is not visible, you can turn it on in the view tab of the menu bar. If perspective is off, the view displays in parallel mode. If you turn it on, you can see that the view displays in visual perspective mode. This is a very easy method, but you can't control certain parameters like the position of the camera and target or the type of perspective. That's why we will study each perspective and see a more detailed way to generate them in BricsCAD. Let's start with a single point perspective. If you want to generate this in BricsCAD, you have to keep the target and the camera at the same height. The line of sight should be either horizontal or vertical after giving the dynamic viewing command. This perspective is mostly used for interior views. When I illustrate this, it will become more clear. I take the 3D model again and just start from top view. We use the command dynamic viewing. You type in DV in the command bar and press enter. You can either click select all entities and enter or select the object you want to be visualized manually. Now you go to the points option by typing PO and enter. This option will let you specify the target point and the camera point. The target point is the point to which you look at, and the camera is the point from which you look at. First we define the target point. If I simply click, the point will be on the XY plane. What I want is a point above the XY plane. To do this, type the command .xy and pick a point. Only the x and y coordinate of the point are selected now, so we give in a z coordinate. Let's take 150 units. The target is defined now. Remember we want the line of sight horizontal or vertical for single point perspective. For this we turn on the ortho mode. We use the same method again with .xy. I pick a point over here and give the same z coordinate 150 as height. We are still in orthogonal view. To get back to perspective view, you go to the distance option by typing D and enter. You can press enter again to use the current set distance or type in another value and press enter. Now you still have a lot of options. You can change the distance of the perspective or the camera and you can change the focal length. I would like to change the distance, so I go to the distance option again and give in a higher value. You can see the camera has moved slightly backwards. I can also change the focal length of the camera by using the zoom option, so I type Z and enter. If you reduce the focal length of the camera, then the field of view of the camera will get widened, so it will become a wide-angle view. This is how you generate single point perspective. As you can see, there is only one vanishing point in the middle of the drawing. Now let's see how to generate a two-point perspective. If you want to do this, 
You should keep the target and the camera at the same height, just as we have done before. The difference is that the line of sight should be inclined, so no longer horizontal or vertical. This perspective is mostly used for exterior eye levels and ends eye levels. We take a 3D model of a house in top view and use the dynamic viewing command. We select again the objects we want visualized and go to the points option. Like before, we use the dot .xy command and then define a height for the target and later for the camera. This time, however, we do not use the ortho command because as you can see, we want the line of sight to be inclined. To get my perspective, I go to the distance option again and press enter. We can change the distance until we get the sight we want. We see a two point perspective because when you draw lines from these edges, you find a vanishing point on the right side and when you draw lines from these edges, you find another vanishing point on the left side. Now that we are finished with two point perspective, let's have a look at three point perspective where there is also a vanishing point above or under the building. If you want to generate this, you have to keep the target and the camera at different heights and the line of sight should also be inclined. These perspectives are preferred in bird eye views and aerial views. I will demonstrate again with a model. It's a lot the same as before. We use the view command again, select objects, go to the points option and use .xy command. For the target I give in a height of 100 units. I don't choose the same height for the camera this time. I choose a much higher height of 800 units. Then I use again the distance option and press enter to get the perspective. We can still change the distance to come to the view we want. You can see now you have three vanishing points, on the left, on the right, but also underneath. The vertical lines are no longer parallel to each other. So as you can see, it is very easy to generate perspectives using BrickSCAD software. And you have a lot of flexibility in controlling position of the camera and certain parameters such as focal length of the camera and the type of perspective. This was all about perspectives. Thank you for watching this video and I hope I helped you out.